<laughs> and we're starting. And now. Excellent. Mm. Excellent, excellent. The... Mm. Fucking Sharknado. Are you kidding me, Gerald? <laughs> nope. My flying dog killed the Sharknado. By yeah, this barking is... fire at it. <laughs> By barking fire after we calmed you down from being rage when I told a bullshit story. Yeah. For giving you one round of freedom. Yep. Wow. I <laughs> think if I have this guy... It's the dumbest bitch we've been. <laughs> We're going to need a real big brood and clean up all that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> We have not even heard the shanties. What are you doing right now? I tell stories, not shanties. You should sell some shanties. Like, now's the time. Yeah. I tell stories yeah. only for a, a price. He's a storyteller, not a musician. Not that I can't what play music. What a shitty fucking bard. Do you even inspirate? Do you even inspirate? I think the bro. Do you even inspirate? <laughs> yeah, I like yeah, inspirate better. better. <laughs> uh... The port town of Varys is uh, actually relatively sizable for a port town, but it's not, it's it's nowhere near the size of no, say, Sartex like, City. Like Sartex <laughs> City or something like that. Um, it has a regular guard, it has a palisade, like wooden palisade wall around its exterior. Obviously the water protects it from that side. There are many many, many bars uh, many taverns of course because it is a <coughs> town uh, a port city. Let's see if I have any names. Because Fate was over here relatively recently. Just checking my notes. <laughs> Gotta get it all combined. Yes. Oh shit, names. Yeah. Do, do, do. Yeah, anyway. Find the first bar off the dock. <clears throat> Tell him Martell. <laughs> and the short man. A real bard. <laughs> a real, real fucking bard. bard. Don't tell fucking. I cast press digitation on Herc. His God pants are now stars. soiled. That's fine. I shit my pants. So were Rand's. Go into a tavern. He said Herc was ever wearing pants. <laughs> <That's> very <laughs> true. I've been assuming this. this well, you have yeah, your armor on. All right, there are three taverns of of relevance here, which I will, which I have here. One is called the Angry Wench. One is called the Dancing Scimitar, and one is called the Cutlass. The Cutlass being a direct reference to the Legend of Trist. As you arrive with your crazy damaged ship that is covered in ice, <laughs> and it's warm at this point, yeah, like because you're kind of near the equator. It's like Johnny Depp in our way. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But no, no, the ship's okay. Like it's fixed. But uh, obviously that was just a patch up job. They have to actually, yeah, do full repairs. Um, Varus. Bid you all adieu, and of course, thanks you for your assistance in dealing with that <laughs> and in helping repair the ship. Um, and now you're in Barith. He wants Barith. to. He wants to spread the story of us fighting the Sharknado. I kind of like doing that too. <laughs> Let's leave that to the professionals. Yeah. So we need to find a bard. 
We probably should find a couple more rogues then, too. <laughs> Where? At least another half one to make a whole one. <sighs> Which tavern are you going to? Very. <laughs> you want to change the uh, music to Friendly Tavern? <laughs> this is Well, this is about... I don't know how I feel about this tavern. Is. I don't know. Is Rand going to gamble? <laughs> <laughs> Remember who saved your ass, really by the way. close to Gen Con. Mm. And if, if not right above it. What's it called? Oh, there it is, yeah. <clears throat> you might want to stop the previous music. Oh, they, they overlap? They can, yeah. Oh, maybe not. Unless you're, oh. you just stopped it? Yeah, it did. All right. <laughs> oh. Now you're in the city. Oh, this does seem like a nice tavern. Place. But which one are you going to? The Cutlass. The Cutlass. Yeah. Alright. The bartender is a friendly looking gentleman. Uh, a little on the larger side, but not like. He's huge. a port portly fellow. Yeah. Uh, portly. We're in a port. <laughs> His uh, name is Aram. Aram. And he welcomes you all in as you enter. Uh, this is a very home, homey looking place. Uh, it has a sizable hearth with fire gently burning. There is a bard kind of standing near the hearth playing the uh, lute. How do we get these people to know what we did, Herc? And I start going buttons. around, spreading the story of how we fought a great storm that contained a great plethora of beasts controlled by a sea witch. We bested the witch and her beasts with ease and laughed in the face of danger, all led by the brave bard, Ego Sex Bang. Ego Sex Bang. <laughs> That's awesome. I, while he while he goes around there, uh, I'm sitting at the bar. Telling I accompany story. my story with my glass harmonica. Okay. Mm. While he's telling that story, I'm at the bar around as many people as I can get, trying to get him to buy me free drinks with this awesome story about how... Give me a performance roll. 17. Is not bad. Uh, and let's throw a bardic inspiration in there too. Okay. I would like to. That's a 10. 27. <laughs> 27 is going to be better. So you can see the viewership. Unlike this Twitch stream. The tavern <laughs> begins <laughs> to look know. away uh, from the me. bar playing the loot <laughs> and looking at you. <laughs> And the bard gets real up, <coughs> real up at you about it. Uh, it starts, you know, he, he, he kind of changes it up. Oh my God. Toward the end of my tale, as he starts, I pull my banjo out and play the same melody back to him that he plays on his lute. <laughs> God damn it. All right. I'm done. I probably should have seen this coming. I didn't home. do anything this time. <laughs> Give me two performance checks. Are we playing? Are we dueling? Boys? Sixteen. Yeah, we're playing yeah, dueling banjos. He's dueling banjos. Uh, Twenty-nine bing, 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 and twenty-four. Bing, 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 okay. Bing, bing, bing. I will kind of tie it up. I'm a very good bard. Two more. Let's see, one of them is bad. <laughs> Uh, performance is going to be 15 for one and then 31 for the other. Got it, got it, got it. So, <sighs> this takes place over several hours, I guess. While you are all kind of having a good time, Cause they I'm are telling slightly they different versions of the story. Playing, it's the best kind. <laughs> playing against each other. Mine's about yeah. my faithful canine companion killing a mad shark twister thing in the jig. I say, I say those exact yeah. words. After you were, sha after you were saved by your rage. This, this, this competition probably takes about an hour. And it seems to kind of go back and forth. Where you're doing really well. And then he 
he starts doing a little bit better, and it kind of goes back and forth. But, but at the end, with your 31, uh, I bust out a Freebird solo and crush his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you play a very complicated thing that he just can't do, and he gets super frustrated and leaves. He just leaves uh, to go do to go play at a different tavern. As he walks out, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, who would like to buy me a drink? <laughs> and with the combative music happening, you uh, actually see the amount of people in the tavern really increase. It becomes very boisterous. Um, so we brought business into this tavern. You brought business in. You can, of course, stay here at no cost and have it's free free room and board essentially. Well, in that case, definitely get around for all my friends, <laughs> except for the little one. He I gets thought... two. <laughs> Dang, you're mighty nice, Dooney. <laughs> and wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> really, just doesn't remember your name. <laughs> like, Target wants to pickpocket because <laughs> I can now very easily. But we're in the, we're in a tavern. I'm just I'm not gonna do it in a tavern. Sounds like a because, poor plan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, towards towards the end of the night, probably, probably around midnight or so. <laughs> I'd say for half the night, the middle of the night. Like, I'm doing the math. You see the an thing. individual roll into the tavern. Apparently, I'm okay being a bar. Does he have <laughs> wheels for feet? No. Oh. Well, not exactly. <laughs> he's in a wheelchair. Okay. I was um, hoping rollerblades, but I'll take it. This this man no. is That's from an up coming up enormous. Oh, super. Like a big old motherfucker. He is huge. <laughs> you can tell. Uh, give me a history check. Built like a brick house. Hey, built like a house. Proficient in it. Hmm? Not proficient. Not I have proficient. numbers in it, but I'm not proficient. In it. Schwarzenegger big yeah. or Jabba the Hutt big? Like fat or built? <laughs> it's <laughs> also a <laughs> good nipple pinch. Okay. <laughs> can I still roll that? Yeah, everybody can. Do nope. I know what? what are we rolling? History. Uh, history. 18. 11. 18. 21. No, wait. 21. Wait. Uh, where's that? History? No. <laughs> But you got an 18? Yeah. yeah. You heard the story sometime on a boat. Roll the 18. Well, I rolled a 21. I know. Do any of us actually <laughs> know? Who, do, we, do we know who he is? Is huh? that going to be enough to know who he is? Well, it's not that you know who he is. It's more about what he's wearing. Ah. What does he wear? If we um, I'll wait then. I, I have magic for this. Yes. <laughs> you are uh, pretty well traveled. I guess a, a guy. Sure, why not? Um, Herc, especially as well, because he was a. <coughs> what was your what's your backstory? I was orphaned and then lived half most of my life Urchin? in the city. Yeah. Okay. That's a common mm. thief. Got it. I don't know. I feel like you're well, probably an uncommon thief. I am now. Probably then read about. So I don't know, but you know this because <laughs> you're alone. I've heard stories. Because reasons. You've heard stories. Yeah. He is wearing the garb of the mayor. The is mayor. He the mayor. The mayor of the town. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. And he he's pushed in by two pretty strong-looking guards. Uh, one at each of the <laughs> handles. <laughs> he's a big old boy. Big old boy. And he he like waves over and gets gets a drink. And he uh, is very boisterous, you know. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> His name is Ham Hand. Ham Hand. Ham Hand. Yeah. Is he named after he, how he eats? Uh, he does order a very large meal. You can kind of see him. He doesn't approach any of you because he doesn't really know you. Right. You see I don't him. I think he approaches anybody. <laughs> I'm saying, 
<laughs> he is enjoying the bard, the bard's tales mm-hmm. and such, and uh, he's like he gets enough food for <laughs> four like, or five people, for a small five village, people. yeah. And it's just, I mean, like packing in his face, packing it in. A lot of it's meat. A lot of it's, there's fish and beef and ham. food. Leg and like it's shit's on food. Carnivorous yeah. food. Be a hungry motherfucker. <laughs> yep. 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 And he calls over Bard, who is peeing. Peeing. <laughs> He stepped out, kind of motions, uh, that he wants to speak with the ego sex bang. <laughs> ego sex bang. Ego sex bang. You're, You're being, being summoned. summoned. I have to pee. The mayor wishes to talk to you in the tavern. Yeah. What? Yeah, the big fat dude that rolls in is the mayor. And he wants, I heard that part. I have to pee. And, yeah. and he wants, so he wants to talk to you. He, he's been enjoying your story. Can you give me two seconds? Uh, yes, okay. I sure will. That's two seconds. I didn't hear him. I didn't hear him. It was in the bag and I didn't know if it was still in there or not. Alright. <clears throat> you tell a good story. We I've been told. Tale. What brings you to our fine Hawk City? Me personally or everyone? You personally. Me personally? I haven't seen you here before. Well, I love telling good stories to anyone who listen. On other continents, I'm quite well known. And your name is Ego Sex Pain? No, it's a stage name, of course. Ah, what is your real name? Well, that would be Danny Hanson, or Daniel, if you will. Daniel. Daniel! And I glare at Rand. <laughs> hey, who's that? Got it. Will you share your meal? With my meal? Will you share my meal? <laughs> like, no. Share your meal with me. <laughs> hey, too bad. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> will you have a I mean, meal if we go to Burger King, I'll go half seas on the Whopper thing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, you, like, you can get two whoppers. You can and see that he has. Somebody's like, gonna do his job. Like, like he's got crumbs and food around his mouth. His mouth and sure. Never turned out a free meal. Excellent. Is anyone with you? Or is it just you? Oh, I have plenty of friends. They helped slightly in my destruction of the sea witch and her great beast. Tell me more of this great beast. Well. It was a giant whirlwind, composed of every manner of sea creature you could think of. Sharks. Hmm. Hmm. This is new. I personally was hit myself with a great white shark, but I shook it aside. <laughs> Two pairs of teeth at all. It's like a whole shake. <sighs> huh. I was hit with a great white shark, guys. That happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you show him the scars? Sure. Because <laughs> he did get hit. Just I got hit with a fucking great white shark. <laughs> there better be scars. Yeah, sure. Oh, show. Hmm. I'm not called the rest of them. Okay. It ran just slightly. Herc! Tipsy. Kyron. Kyron. Leas. Other one. Rand, hey buddy. I mm. Rand's had it into his cups a little bit. <laughs> Gentlemen. Oh, and Bark, wherever he's run off to. Bark? Where's Bark? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is, is, is Bark? Like, yeah, Bark's been there, but oh. he's the one I'm kind of leaning against walking over to stay up. Like or this. you were sitting on him. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yes. your own chair that walks around. And my Should faithful the companion. Talking. <laughs> Say hi, Bark. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? It was big shark thing. Hmm. That's what he's telling you about. 
who wasted the time to give him fucking self awareness? <laughs> he did. The, uh, the, um, yeah, just the a side did. effect of some no, of the things in our travels. travels. Oh, yeah, well, the pearl. Well, the pearl, yeah. So I guess it was Zoran's fault. Yeah. Oh, we shouldn't have those so close together all the time. Fucking so <laughs> your dog is awakened. Yeah, these things. I've heard Not the first one you've seen. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I've heard stories, but I've never seen any uh, self-aware creatures. They're not normally so. And he kind of scratches Bark, uh, and lets Bark, like, Bark. his fingers are super easy. And yeah, Bark just... Like, like, maybe, uh, <laughs> 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 Your dog amuses me. Can you put a rhyme in that? Huh? <laughs> Can you put a rhyme in that? <laughs> oh. Sorry right, about it. We have had very interesting things happening uh, over here as well. Uh, shark throwing elemental, notwithstanding. <laughs> I don't see. Oh, oh damn it. <laughs> I tell stories, but that's cute. So, there have been. There's been much more activity of late um, in the mountains. Paranormal activity? No. Supernatural. Um, that was out of character, just sarcasm. Giants. Giants. And. Uh, right. Death Elf movement as well. Oh, Ballsack. That's out of character, too. I just like talking like that. <laughs> Which we are. Um, it, it hasn't made it all the way here, of course. There has also been. There have been sightings in the south of. A floating uh, Hey, Jeremy castle. A floating castle Grab me a beer I, I Thank you No, I haven't seen it myself, of course But apparently it Sounds like a great story Some sort of movement Who wouldn't want a floating castle <laughs> somehow, You're a bastard <laughs> Somehow it is <sighs> And, uh, anyway, in, in <gasps> also not in character. He that was me talking directly to Gerald. <laughs> He's just totally meta gaming, <laughs> not a big deal. <laughs> character in the game doesn't know. Actually, I could know about it. Floating, floating castle? castle? Does the castle have a name? Owls. It's just been seen. Owls. 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 Oh Owls. my god! No, <laughs> it's not. That's a good joke, Owls. Senor. <laughs> Uh, now I do need a book because my phone's dead. Can I borrow the desk? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know if it has a, a name. Let's find out. Well, it's not every day you see a no. castle. I doubt anyone here would know. Give me a minute. I mean, we can always roll and see. It does not have to do a nature check to see if castles should float. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 23. He knows. Should castles should not float. Seriously? Should not float. <laughs> Now we know. That's her damn it. That is a great hurt. <laughs> God damn it. No wonder I bought my first test. Um, <coughs> the mayor stars, specifically addresses her. Specifically? You're, um. Oh, so. You know of the castle, right? Hmm? You know of the castle, right? Yes. Do, does Is this known to more people than you on this continent? Well, clearly. It's been. I just. It's I just cast rumors. legend lore. Legend lore. Name or describe a person, place, or object. The spell brings you to mind a brief summary of the significant lore about the thing you named. The lore might consist of current tales, forgotten stories, or even secret lore that have never been widely, widely known. If the thing you named isn't legendary importance, you gain new information. For more information you already have about the thing, the more precise the detailed information you receive needs to be. So, if it had a name, I'd know more. But if enough people know about it, more. it's a widely known thing. It's been seen. Uh, okay, that's fair. So you cast that. What was that, first level spell? Nope. It's like third level. That's a fifth level spell. Fifth. Yeah. Lord. But cool. Yeah. I'm alright as a bard. <laughs> I made this to be a roleplay character. Not an attack character, clearly. Alright. So you <laughs> have one of those. <laughs> you cast a spell. You know... Are we out of time? We got ten seconds left. All right. Which means we're I can gonna, also see what it looks like. You want to do your story? And then. We're going to talk about it in the next video. All right. And see ya. See ya.